action. So um, we decided to bring the mics back. We brought the mics back. Wait, have the mics been out yet? The mics haven't been out yet. We brought the Don't mics worry back. About it. This is like out. the Marvel universe. Like we're we're a Tarantino film. Like that's what we are. We're in like the middle, but it's really the beginning. And then we're gonna bring it back at the end. And then Travolta's in the background the entire time. And uh, Bruce Willis was dead the entire time as well. Good. So we're doing it all. So don't even worry about it. We have mics. That's what Sam is kind of trying to talk about. Also, it's funny because this whole thing started with a denying a call from Mikey. That's true. We <laughs> all have mics. We all have mics. And then Mikey Whoa, called me. Twist. Then Mikey. I'm tagging Mikey on this given post. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows what he did. Uh, yeah, wow. but so I, I guess I just gave away a small Easter egg there, huh? Yeah, it's an Easter egg. If you find all 50 of them, you get a free annual pass to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember that? Dude, oh, wait. look at look, <laughs> Tony is so look at Tony <laughs> is watching us like we are yeah. uh, actual show right now. Oh, never mind. There's no, a bird outside. Mind. Yep. Bird. bird Tony's outside. a dog. Tony. Oh, yeah. Tony's a dog, by the way. <laughs> Tony thinks that someone is going to come in. Tony's not a fifth person who's just Somebody staring. will. My, my girlfriend probably will burst in. That's okay. Moment. That's okay. We're, so we'll throw in her We're mic. going to have a cameo by Steph. Yeah. Does Steph want to jump on the mic? Probably. That, definitely not. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She'll probably like run in and run out. Yeah. Damn it. But that's okay. Yeah. Let's, okay. Is, when she walks in, let's all put her on mic. Yeah. We well, should absolutely. Point her at her. Yeah. Live take. Um, so I did learn something. I was just in Canada recently. Um, I learned something that Canadians say, um, which I think is hilarious. They say whenever, you know, when like chicks say, oh, I'm screaming or like, oh, that like they say, they say, oh, like laughing. Like saying? they're like, oh, God, I'm screaming. But they won't be screaming. They'll just be like, oh, that's so funny. I'm screaming. You know what I mean? You guys are <laughs> oh, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, OK. OK. So Canadians, whether you're a guy, girl, doesn't matter who you are. You, you could be a fish. They say, oh, bro, I'm broken. They say I'm broken. <laughs> Don't and like I think it, that's though. hilarious. Ah, that's, that's <laughs> they go heavy. like, that's "Oh, bro, the fish I'm fucking broke." The fish say it. That's that's the most impressive part to me. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I don't discriminate, guys. Look, that's the most important part that we should uh, take away from this. They say it to funny stuff. They well, they say it to funny stuff like when they're like, like someone say I'm like busting your balls, right? Okay. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, Chase has never cut his hair." You know, like, and you're like, oh, yeah, and, you're, you're, and somebody else will be like a third party will be like, oh, bro, I'm broken because they think it's so funny. <laughs> oh, OK. So like, like, like I'm dead. Yeah, but oh, they'll okay. say it. They'll say yeah. it. It's such a monotone thing. They're like, oh, bro, I'm broken. That's so heavy. I, I think that's hilarious. <laughs> An entire nation of Pantera fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> appreciated how good that is <laughs> that's very very good oh it's pretty good you guys need to listen to Pan- everyone needs to listen to pantera not too seriously yeah. though yeah. yeah just a little bit yeah. just, a, just little a little bit. Yeah. don't get too don't into get it. hooked don't yeah. get too into it it's a heavy drug yeah it's a heavy <laughs> also if you want to go left they'll say take a larry and no. if you want to go right they'll say go randy that's sick as fuck. How do we That's feel about cool. that? Go Randy, baby. Hey, take a Randy up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam's driving like, take a Randy, dude. And I'm like, oh, am I, what? Am, am I, I supposed am to go I... to the bathroom right now? <laughs> take a Randy. Is that a special word for crap or something? We'll yeah. bleep that out. We'll bleep that out. That'd yeah. be the worst. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that was very funny. That was my only takeaway from Canada. That's all that happened in Canada. <laughs> Okay, Coney, uh, Coney. Tony is guest star. Tony, what do you have to say? Tony, twenty twelve. <laughs> Damn, bro, I'm broken. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's, broken. There we go. You did it. You did it. That's impressive. Joins catching. Joins been actually a secret Canadian this entire time. Jordan was in Colombia though. Jordan was in Colombia. No a traveling band, an international band. Yeah, yeah it really have. Yeah. yeah, how was that? It was ten out of ten. Yeah, ten yeah, out of 10. absolutely. So, did you either go there for the coffee or the cocaine? Be real. Coffee. I'm addicted to coffee. Yeah. And I came back a full coffee. I bet he's addicted to coffee. He was already addicted yeah. to cocaine, Sam. So. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah. So now no, he's picked really. up another one. Yeah. Yeah, coffee is way harder, let me tell you guys. No, but seriously, <laughs> coffee there is very strong, and it's very good. Yeah, nice. The overall, Columbia was amazing. Like, it was, it, it was nice because it felt like a very modern country. And surprisingly progressive, but it was very Colombian. 
So it wasn't like westernized at all. That's very cool. That is yeah, cool. Like a ton of culture. It was a great culture trip. They have cool art, cool fashion, cool clothes. Well, nice. oh, it's oh, a nice shirt that's why. Shirt. It's that's a good why. shirt because yeah. okay. it's a I Colombian shirt tying it together. Okay. This Got makes it. sense. Now everything is. See, look now at Tarantino. Clicked. Tarantino. That's what's happening. <laughs> This is the Tarantino episode. Uh, um, that's cool, though. Yeah, it was that's great. Super cool. It was great. Yeah. And then Brian was on tour. Brian was on tour. I was on tour. I was on tour with a band called Boy Hero, with my boy Dan Rudd. And it was crazy, man. Uh, I'm going to have, a, I'm gonna have a extremely different tone on camera. I definitely won't, <laughs> I definitely won't say all that shit I said. <laughs> that was a lot of shit. I yeah. mean, we sat through that for like an hour. Yeah, yeah I know. I was broken. Uh, <laughs> tour was Sorry, insane. Guys. I cannot believe uh, playing that many shows. I've never been on tour before. Playing that many shows to all those kids and screaming and jumping and people were like hooting and hollering and stuff. And it was absolutely fucking crazy, dude. Was there like a a bad show where you're like this fucking dude? Blue? So so mostly no. Every show was sick. Uh, like all all of them had like a couple hundred kids and they're all screaming and whatnot. Um, so that was crazy because like then they have you you still rank them, but they're all good. Yeah. So, like, the hardest one was my hometown, was Washington, D.C. We played the Black Cat, which is a dope-ass venue which, with a bunch of people who work at it who are really sick. Um, but the crowd was just hard, man. They were just, like, hard to make. They still were doing. They were still, were like, cheering and stuff, but they were, they were hard to. You got something to say? They were still cheering and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> but they were the, but they were just hard to like you know really make move or get into it. Sure. Um, and uh, like San Diego was hard. Oh. He's, he's okay. It's it's dude. I'm ruining my vibe. I'm concentrating <laughs> in character. <laughs> so I'm glad I mic that fucking camera up because yeah, it's gonna okay. pick that up now. Um, <laughs> Uh yeah, what else? San Diego, San Diego was hard. Okay, okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm just gonna move. <laughs> intermission, intermission, intermission. So anyway, Chase just got out of rehab. Yeah. Um, so that was his travel. <laughs> it's uh, uh, the child is mine, Olivia Munn. It's not Mulaney's. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! All right, yeah. Anyway. So San Diego was really hard, uh, just because of like. Like that was one of those shows where I got a phone call with a bunch of bad news like 30 minutes before I went on stage. Uh, and yeah. And so I was just like, oh, I need this to be an amazing show. And it like, it was fine. Yeah. I got like a headache and, you know, I was just down. That, that was, that, so that was like an experience, crazy experience to have because I've never been playing shows so often that that happens. You know what yeah. I mean? So, but yeah, most of them were really great, except for really hot, dude. We played in Texas. We played some places dude. that had no AC. Are you serious? Dude, oh. walking into this, like, on stage would be like walking into a heavy blanket. And, and we had, like, a, like, I had, like, wear coveralls, like, this big thing. Yeah. And wear, and so, no oh, that way. was, like, the uniform, uniform you had to use. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, had to. It was, it's what it Dan, was like, a part it's of what that. Dan wanted. What sure. Yeah. Wear. yeah, it was, like, from the music videos. And I was super down. Like, I think that's sick. To, yeah, yeah. For, you know, to be an opening band and to commit that hard. Um, I thought, like, really seals the deal. And it did. Like, I think people really bought into it. Yeah. Um, but, dude, sometimes it was just so fucking hot. Dude. Some of these venues, yeah. just no yeah. AC on stage at all. And the place is made out of, like, tin pan alley shit. So oh, That's brutal. <laughs> that's Man, crazy. One of the hottest places I've been to, I think, was Austin in the springtime. Really? Austin? Uh, like, yeah, Austin, Texas. Oh, Austin. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just so hot there. Even in spring, it was like 105. That's obnoxious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's we fucking there, garbage. We were there at the end of August. Dude, I it can't imagine. That's garbage. dude. I yeah. can't imagine. Yeah, it was that like heavy, humid heat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. humid too. What was it, in Houston or in Austin? We played uh, San Antonio and Houston. Oh, okay. Yeah, San Antonio was the really... I mean, Houston was really hot, but the venue was really nice mm -hmm. and fucking... Rigid, freezing cold. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, but San Antonio, it was very cool. It was a great That's show. Rare. But it was just so fucking hot. Mm. So fucking hot. I think I know your favorite show. What do you think my favorite show was? I, I think, I, no, I know actually what your favorite show was. Dude, what is it? Because you told me. I did? Yeah. I, 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 Brian's like favorite minutes? show was Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> right. So we played, we played Berkeley. 
Um, I would. Yeah, I, I've been to San Francisco, but I've never been outside of San Francisco yeah. to the surrounding area. Uh, my girlfriend's calling me. <laughs> this episode is gonna be Brian is distracted. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Hey, how's it going? That really sucks. I am recording on camera with Given. This is definitely making the cut. Steph says hello. She says hello oh, to yeah. the camera, the audience. She, see, we got her on camera, technically. She did. Yes, you should come get him. He's bored. <laughs> yes, I will. I was thinking about that earlier today. It's all about Tony. It's all about Tony. Yes. It's always about you. Yeah. Bye bye. So we played Berkeley. <laughs> okay. We, back played, back. we played Berkeley. I've been to San Francisco. I've never been to the surrounding areas before. Yeah. Um, we were playing at Cornerstone, which is a nice venue, um, on some main road in Berkeley. And it was day three of the tour. We were in a passenger van following a tour bus that really sucked. And uh, we, we'd loaded all of our stuff into the venue, and the van was getting parked. Uh, we got parked like right off the main road. And we're going, we're like setting up for sound check and whatnot, and we just get a text from uh, Dan's dad, who was driving. It was just like, hey, I just got back to the van, someone broke into it. Like, all, someone, th- th- all three of the windows are all broken, and, uh, and I'm checking to see if they took any of your stuff now. Because like our like, suitcases were on there. It turns out they had taken uh, the sound guy's suitcase... And really? The, yeah, sound guy's suitcase and my dirty clothes suitcase. Like, we're just no. like, on top. Yeah. Um, so the sound guy was like, he, he, he rolled with it. He was, he was fine. Um, he just had like no gear in there. Just like yeah, he had everything crazy in there. And I, it was my dirty clothes. So at first I was like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. But, uh, they did get away with, uh, my, my Brian Jones tie dyed shoes. No. Oh, no. Yeah. They used in the, they used in the jump video. So dude, I love that when fucking people rob cars and like break into them, they choose things that are just like, if I, okay. Like I feel like if I were to break into a car, <laughs> I would choose the best things. <laughs> You know I, what I mean? I guess it was they trying to be because my my Xbox was underneath the seat. Like, like how did you not? They could have grabbed my Xbox and they fucking didn't. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, hey, don't choose dirty clothes. How about you choose an iPhone? Apparently, it was it was uh, another van pulled up to next to our van and three guys got out with crowbars and just smashed the windows, took the stuff, and got out of there. Oh no, kidding! Wow. Yeah, it was just like a, they knew what they were fucking doing. They just did it. Got in not real quick. I mean, I'm were sure guys, th- by the venue. Sorry, Chase. I, I was oh, going to yeah, say, I'm right sure the they're it, like it's like in their something. head. Like they go like music venue. That's a passenger van yeah, no, with no, no. the they, trailer. They for sure, oh, like, that was planned. Yeah. We do this every Tuesday. They you for know? sure, they <laughs> like, for sure we're, we're, we're looking for. They, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. 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 Shout out the Assholes. Bay Area for not. I mean, you guys don't relent. We, yeah. yeah. No. No, you don't. But, but the show was very good. Yeah. And the people were receptive to our sob story from the stage. Yeah. Oh, you guys said it on stage. And, yeah. Yeah, we said it on stage, and the headliner said it on stage, and uh, the, the people, the kids of Berkeley, were very uh, giving. I feel like yeah. every time I hear about Berkeley, though, it's just a shit show. I think they're going through a lot of stuff up there. Yeah. 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 I think they got a lot, a lot of desperate times. Yeah. I mean, it's desperate here too, but I've, I don't know. That hasn't happened to me here. I I was up there a couple months ago and pulled through. I was in oh. Oakland, Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> they speak the same language. There we go. It's Bo, the incredible. Bo, it's a dialect I'm I've never heard before. <laughs> What's up, Stop? What up? What's up, Stop? Bye, Tony. Uh, bye, Steph. See ya. Tony has pieced officially out. Yeah, he's out. So you're in Berkeley, Chase. Oh, uh, uh, our video viewership. Pew, pew. Pew. Yeah, now that Tony's gone, <laughs> no they were like, dogs. I was only here for the dog. Yeah. Uh, no, I was in Oakland. And uh, yeah, a couple months ago in like, everything is still like boarded up. Like it's still like full, you know, uh, like riot like mode. Post-pandemic yeah, like riot style? mode. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, like riot mode. Like they were like, we're afraid we're going to get looted. And um, I, we pulled into a parking lot, and there was a Carl's Jr., and I've never seen this. It was just a normal Carl's Jr. Um, middle of the day on, like, a Sunday, like, 2 o'clock, 
uh, full like security team, like security guards outside the Carl's Jr. as if like they're like ready. Like Carl's Jr. is like <laughs> they're coming for the Western Dude, bacon Car- cheeseburger. Carl Jr. is in there. <laughs> yeah, they're like <laughs> they don't believe it's not meat. The Beyond Burger yeah. is not meat. <laughs> they're coming for him. But yeah, full security guards outside of Carl's Jr. and like that's like what they were doing. And I remember Jesus. they. Um, yeah, it was a uh, it was an interesting time. That's very weird. Very weird. Very huh. weird. But uh, they're going through yeah. it in the. Shout out, uh, Bay Area, Oakland. Yeah. You go hard. I'm, we're fully we, giving it to you. Yeah, we just yeah. We we then drove from Berkeley. In my story, we drove them from Berkeley to Los Angeles overnight with just the no windows. <sighs> yeah, it was brutal. <sighs> and the middle of California smells like cow poop. It's the worst. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. we really roll the, the windows worst. up. Yeah, oh, so, <laughs> yeah. It sucks. You see, yeah. they were wow. broken, or it was like hot. No, it's because it's because they broke in the windows. Oh, they yeah. broke in the windows. We, we couldn't, we couldn't like, exchange <laughs> the van. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. See, so got, Jordan like, shards of glass in yeah, your yeah. face. And literally, Brian was literally on tour. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> literally, though, like shards of glass on the seat for sure. Yeah. Fuck. Like you know, you can't get it all clean. It was yeah. brutal. So Berkeley, damn brutal place. Well, everybody's back. We're back, baby. Oh, back. oh, here's a given story. Given, Given will love this story. Um, I bet Given will do this one day. Yeah. We were in Houston, and I had been hearing talk about this hurricane that was coming, Hurricane Ida. And I was like, "Oh, like a hurricane? A like I've I've like been through hurricanes. They're like not that crazy, but I've never been through. I've never been in this part of the country, and um, and as it it seems like people are getting more worried. And then we get off stage after Houston, we're like putting all our stuff away, and it's like, all right, so we got to drive through the night because otherwise. This hurricane is going to come. It's a Category Four hurricane, and it's going to come and absolutely wreck us. Like we will, we'll be hitting the hurricane when we go through New Orleans if we don't go through the night. Which obviously, I it hadn't happened yet, and I was like, "Damn!" Like I've heard of New Orleans in the context of other hurricanes around this time of year before, and I was not excited about that. So we drove straight through the night, and like waking up to like torrential downpours of rain and whatnot. And then I woke up at nine in the morning because I thought my phone was buzzing. I thought Steph was calling me, but it was actually like an automated emergency ser- weather emergency services tornado yeah. watch in your area. Ooh, there were just gosh. tornadoes in the area. Good. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> shit. I guess I'm gonna stay awake and see if we go by a tornado and see if we die. So I like got up to the front seat and I could see like we're going on the ten, which is like coastal. Um, but there's like another. There's like lower roads and i can see like the street signs like up out of the water like completely flooded and it's oh, just wow. like oh shit dude yeah so we drove all the way through um like on the edge of this hurricane uh until we got to orlando florida wow yes and then it was Man. fun and then it was okay yeah wow and that hurricane like went all the way up to new york you know and it was like flooding in new york and when we get to, when we went to new york we had to fucking make sure not to hit the floods there too Wow. It was wow. wild, dude. Yeah. Damn. So you, you caught back up to it? Getting to New it, York? It was like still... I think it had gone in. away by then, but the flooding was still happening in New yeah, York. Yeah, it was just raining like huh. crazy. Yeah. It was just a lot of shit. I've never seen a hurricane before. No. I mean, they they just look like storms. Yeah. Uh, they get really windy. Um, like You can... like if, yeah. if you're in the shit, you can watch them. Like They'll rip off the roofs and shit, and they'll throw trees into other yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, a whole Wizard of Oz situation, if you yeah. will. I yeah, but I've I've never seen a tornado, um, and I've been through like a Category Three hurricane, like a like a not as mm-hmm. serious one. Um, but they're crazy, dude. And this one was crazy, apparently. Wow. Yeah. And like, of course, we had to drive through the night, and like, my mom was calling, me, making sure I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I yeah. wasn't trying. I didn't think this yeah. tour was gonna do all that. But yeah. Here we are. Who decided to name hurricanes like human? Who like why did we personify these things? Why didn't we call them like dog names like Spot and Fido? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hurricane. We'll, we'll just be like, like this hey, is Hurricane seventy six. Yeah. Like you know, like yeah, just number them. How huh. many have we had? Yeah. Apparently, Curious. some person out there, some scientist, has a thing for hurricanes. I mean, because it really like if your name, <laughs> if your name is Katrina and you live in Louisiana. That's like a bad look. Yeah. Like it's, it's terrible, like yeah. we don't. That's not wasn't like fun. Imagine you know? being a kid, being like, oh yeah, hey, yeah you're Katrina. Oh yeah, Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. You're Hurricane Katrina. It's the worst. Ouch. It's the worst. Ouch. I feel They're like scarred, that would be sure. terrible as a child. Yeah. 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 I feel like we should name them after like rock stars. Yeah. yeah. Be like Hurricane <laughs> Prince. Yeah. 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 Hurricane Hur- Mick Jagger. 
<laughs> Hurricane David Bowie. People would yeah. not take Hurricane seriously enough. They'd just feel like, <laughs> yeah. it's Mick Jagger. Yeah. They'd be home. like, Hurricane gonna... Gene Simmons this weekend. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, tornadoes <laughs> are just like, <laughs> tornadoes are like B list celebrities. Like, it'll be like, who who's B list? Oh, I'm trying to uh, yeah. Who'd be a B-list celebrity? Like, oh, yeah. like, like Jack. Uh, who's who's the guy who plays a? Uh, oh, he's not very B-list, but uh, he he plays the Wolverine. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Oh, he's he's, he's definitely an A-list. He's a A-list. 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 But like, <laughs> but like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> No, that's like that's like a People magazine cover guide. That's like going. We need a D-list celebrity, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, a B-list is John Mulaney. <laughs> I'm Mulaney, B-list I'll give Mulaney. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, not really the same for Definitely him. Definitely just... known, but he's not on like a Brad Pitt. Okay, level. okay. Tornado yeah. Joe Rogan. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Tornado Rogan. That's funny. Tornado yeah. Rogan. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It probably would hurt his viewership a little bit. Probably on hurt Spotify. his viewership, <laughs> but. Hit, yeah, I think we're would. gonna we're probably gonna steal a lot of his crowd. Yeah, 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 we are. We can Across probably start we can start spreading insane. COVID misinformation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys got any bad COVID that. tips? I'm I'm cutting this entire thing because YouTube hey. hates the word COVID. They hate the I word. They hate all of those things. So Do we're they? Not, yeah. If you say Fuck you, that's why I said the I word. If you say the I word, I'm pretty sure they just pull you immediately. <laughs> yeah, you're just like dunzo. So I mean, this is all getting cut. How about the T word or not. the H word? I don't know any of these words. Tornado. Tornado and hurricane. <laughs> if those are words, if they like, if there's like a new, like you know, like pharmaceutical called like tornado that has like a possible like effect on you know this pandemic disease, yeah. then we're screwed. They're really not gonna like what's in that refrigerator. They are not gonna like that at all. So, well, anyway, spoiler alert. Anyways. But now, anyway. now we are back. I thought we needed to share that. With yeah, you guys. yeah. But now we are all back. Given is all back in the same place. We're back. We're back in the same place. We're back in Los Angeles. Uh, we're Who knows doing what things. We're do? What are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna put out a couple of things. You know, some music. Maybe, maybe there's a video element to it. We really like the video elements. Uh, maybe there's more talks with Jim. Mm. You never know. I mean, you know, definitely gonna, more of this. Definitely more of this. Mainly definitely this. more of Way sitting more on of this. This is basically given the podcast. That's really what this I is. I mean, it really is. This but is like, honestly more given than the band is. Like, this is it. For sure. This, this is, is it. The shit. Yeah. This is like, like, we like, it's like 10% music, 90% just drivel, just yeah. nonsense. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, for sure. I just, feel this like is a, this, this is a band. If this is it, allow me to share a personal childhood story of mine. Oh, let, let oh, me hold okay. on. Okay. 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 I'm, when I was a kid, um, there was this there was this other there was this other guy that we're going to name Daniel to save his identity, and because I don't remember what his name was, and I was in fourth <laughs> grade, and it was right at the beginning of the time where I was starting to understand like social hierarchies, like oh, these are cool kids, like these are not cool kids. And um and like figuring out where I fit and all that and like right around the time where we're like my longtime best friend was like starting to have other best friends and yeah. I was like struggling to figure out how that made me feel. And there was some. It was also the time where kids were starting to get mean, which is not something I've ever fucked with. I do not. I did. I did not get it when kids became mean. And now I would say I'm not generally a mean person. I'm more of a goofy person. Um, and so, so kids would, kids would be mean at recess or on the bus. And I guess it was kind of a game of who could be the meanest or whatnot. But, uh, but some kid was being mean and I, I thought it was like, it was like, it was like being mean to me for no reason. And I was mean back and he was like, we're going to fight now. We're going to fight at recess. I was like, and he's like bigger than me, like (laughs) bigger and stronger, like into sports. I was not into sports and whatnot. And I was just like, are you, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah. And um, and then and everyone heard about it, and then at recess there was this big circle of kids and they were all chanting "fight," <laughs> was, like like a movie or something. And I was like, "This isn't yeah, the- like obviously I'm not gonna fight this guy." Yeah. And uh, Did you whip his ass. And, uh, <laughs> no, I think I think he slapped me a few times. Oh wait, what? I think he fucking he slapped you. I think got he this fucking posse slapped together me and he slapped in you. the cold in the in element, the cold in the fall elementary <laughs> recess cold. Yeah. He slapped me and it stung. And, Did you do uh, anything back? And uh, I don't think so. I don't think I was. Um, you cried. I don't think I was ready to. I, I don't think I cried, man. No, I'm not just saying that for you either. Like I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I really. I don't think I. Cry. I was more just like. 
I didn't process it that much. I probably cried. I probably had a big cry three years later that was incorporated. Got it. Emotion therapy. therapy. Yeah. But I didn't. I didn't really get what was going on. Like I was just like, "What the hell?" Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and so then uh, uh, it it, it kind of dissipated at some point, and then you know we got called in the principal's office, and I wasn't in trouble, and the kid said they made the kid say sorry, and <laughs> I was amazed at how remorseful he could act. Mm. And, uh, and yeah, and then, uh, I grew up and I continued to feel awkward, uh, and extremely socially not fit in and back to give in. Huh. That's my, I just wanted to share an extremely personal childhood story because I feel like this is, this is the, really the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. No, it is for sure. So there it is guys. No, that, that's it. I, okay. So fun fact, I've never been in a fight ever. I, that was my, and I would not call that a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know you were in well, it. Well, I was. I, I mean, it wasn't. It didn't end up being. A, it, it, he could have fought me. I luckily ended up being like a couple slaps. Yeah, yeah. And that's luckily not a fight. Sure, but okay. But I, I see there were a bunch of kids chanting "fight." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you were in the midst so of weird. a fight, but it was not. It didn't go down. <laughs> I, I've right. never been in a fight. I've been. I had a brick thrown at my head. That's true. And a pizza. Well, we'll, we'll do the br- the pizza is a good story. Pizza's the a good brick story. We'll is a good later. story as well. But we'll do the brick. That's a whole other. That's a whole different thing. We'll talk Have about you ever that. Been in a fight, though, Chase? Uh, no. Um, I once. Th- I don't know if this will be a thing for Brian and Jordan as much. I think Sam will know. Uh, I got conned into what they used to call going body. <laughs> Do you know what it's? I'm, I'm assuming by Sam's hysterical, <laughs> the fact that he's broken. Holy um, fuck! I'm broken right yeah. now for sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was terrible. Going body is being in a fight, but you're not. It, you're not allowed to hit the face. You can't hit the other person in the face. It's the dumbest okay, thing in yeah. the world. Yeah, the, it's the, dude, stupid. Kid, this is what they would do. Kids would be like, "Hey, you like?" It, it was just like a for fun thing because we lived in the f- middle of fucking nowhere because we were assholes. Yeah, and our parents were assholes. But no, we would go to school and like a kid would just approach you, even like if you were good friends or not. He'd be like, "Hey, you want to go body in the bathroom near the cafeteria?" <laughs> Which sounds like really odd. Yeah, <laughs> in does. retrospect, and I didn't like, know what it was at first. One, like. like I would hear people like, "What's going body in the bathroom?" Yeah, and I, if you're like, confused about something, like yeah. we completely appreciate that, but yeah. like, don't like you know, like say these things. Definitely, like, let's have an actual conversation about yeah. this. <laughs> and I was like, I asked somebody, I was like, "What's what are you guys doing in the like? What's going body?" And it somebody was like, sexual. "At <laughs> at one <laughs> fifteen, <laughs> meet in the cafeteria bathroom, and we'll show bodies. you yeah. what going body means." I was like. Okay, so you know, I, I say to the teacher, I gotta use the restroom. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I walk in, kids are fighting. Yeah, kids are it's beating the shit out of each other. It's and it's like, like a fucking pit. MMA. It's a pit. It's a, it's it's literally like it's like it's a fucking like two thousand and you know eight uh, bury your dead pit in the bathroom <laughs> in a middle school bathroom. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the, the, there there be like a referee too, and there would be like no 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 you that was like a neck shot that was a neck shot you were <laughs> way too yellow close cards. hey yeah 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 seventy six <laughs> yeah that's watch it watch it yeah yeah and then like you'd be like ranked like you'd be like oh yeah you are the best bodier oh, God you get like sponsorships and shit yeah, yeah like <laughs> baby bottle pop sponsors yeah you get you get three free chocolate milks today. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh God, I remember that shit. This that was is a funny. thing. So weird. I got out of. I I got severely out of. Um, ba- basically, I was terrified. Um, because uh, at the middle school I was at, uh, I saw actually a, a a girl fight, and uh, one of the girls started doing UFC shit and need a girl in the face multiple <laughs> times, and I went. We're in like the seventh grade, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm like out of this one. Like, I am not, I am not prepared for this at all." Another girl, I mean, the rumors were that she got expelled um, because it was like full emo thing. So like, girls used to do like the big poofy teased hair, and I guess like she was gonna get in a fight, and um, I, she went with the old school move where she hid razor blades in her hair. Oh, girls shit. Her what? Hair. Girls grab hair yeah. when they get oh, into yeah. a fight. Oh, no. Um, there was another fight where a kid, uh, I mean, I walked out of my six, uh, six period science class and there was a fight happening like right there. And um, this one kid, I mean, I broke another kid's jaw like right as I like walked out. And oh, that my. was not like ideal. See, all these things happened and I was like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm, 
I am not prepared for this. I do not have the physicality for any of this. So yeah, I I I, that's wild. Yeah, Yeah, that's insane. Is really I never saw any of that. Oh really? Were fights common in your schools? Oh dude. Well, no, it wasn't in our schools. It was like a. It was like just in our our town living yeah, our town. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, crazy. Yes. Well, okay. So you never. Well, you grew up in a small town too. I grew up in. Yeah. It was. It was a good amount smaller. I mean, my high school had like seven hundred people max. But you never had people who were like, "Hey, Jordan, like, let's cut the hair, cut each other's hair in like the cafeteria or anything no. like that, or like, hey, cut at recess, let's hair. like race to the top of the monkey bars or." They're like anything it's weird like that? Like, no, no, not really. I feel weird. like, I mean, fights were far and few between. I feel like since everyone kind of knew each other, it was. Yeah. I hard. mean, you, you, people yeah. might have like beef or whatever, but yeah. it, it's taken a bit far when like families know other families to get in a full oh, fight. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. So I feel wasn't... like that was a bit of a deterrent. I mean, the I saw, so I didn't see many fights, but I did see one girl fight that was blew my mind, dude. It was just <laughs> uh, like. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a couple. There was like a handful of fights between dudes, but man, these girls went at it one day. I was like, between classes and our school was actually it was historically a college, so there are different campuses. So um, between classes, when we'd change um, for the next period, we'd all be outside. So it's mm-hmm. one of these changes, and out of the blue, these girls just go at it. And this one girl is ripping. Yeah. This other girl's hair out. She should Straight put razor blades in there. She should put razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she needs <laughs> to move to Apple Valley and learn yeah. that, I don't. So you putting razor blades in your hair, and you get in trouble for that. But it's purely a defensive move. Like it's only a, it would only be a problem if someone was grabbing your hair to attack you. So. That's very true, actually. Yeah. Because it's like you you're still preparing. brought razor I mean, blades to school. Okay, it's right. You can't. I forgot it's school. You can't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah but also there are rules. they're in the eighth grade. But also, <laughs> what if you know you're about to get fucked up? You know, what I mean, yeah. like, what if you know? Well, it's, so it's either like, man, I'm a, I get bullied and I'm gonna get fucked and I'm gonna get fucked up, so I'm doing this, or it's like, yo, I'm bringing the heat, like. I, like, I think I'm, it was I'm putting these like, in. I'm me. gonna try to get in a fight. Yeah. They just yeah. start, it was. Uh, I think at that point, like you're like if you're if you're accepting that you're like I'm gonna get into this fight, or whatever. Uh, at all of those, the cops just got called. It wasn't like a word dealing with this in the school. It's like, oh no, the the cops show yeah. up and they pull really? everybody out. Oh yeah, that was how it. Ended oh yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that, wow. that happened in my high school like twice. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember ever seeing the fights. I just remember like, you know, my, my high school was fucking massive. My high school was like twelve, fourteen. Wait, it must have been like twenty four hundred kids. Wow, it was, it was really big. It's huge, and um. So at the end of the day, it's just this mass of kids all going to the buses, right? And I remember seeing, like, the pit open up. um, And then, like, like an ambulance comes and the the police come and, and, or the school resource officer comes and like that. And they they tear it up, yeah. But I don't remember, like, the damage of the fights. I don't remember them being, like, like, there wasn't anyone where I'd be like, oh, yeah, don't don't fuck with that guy. He'll beat your ass because... Yeah, I can imagine how many fights he's been in, and he wins them all. I don't remember that. I don't remember that Dude, shit. that was all too common for me and Chase. Wow. I can guarantee that really? was all the time. Yes. Yeah. All the time, dude. Like, you, for sure. Like, eh, especially, like, in our high schools. You yeah. know, that was just a common thing. You're just like, oh, yeah, like, definitely avoid that person because they'll beat your ass. Whoa. That's oh, the yeah. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. was the whole, like, like, going to high school freshman year being expecting to be beat up or thrown in the trash was that a thing no no it wasn't bullying no it wasn't bullying it was like just pure like just like don't don't get on that guy's anger prove yourself behavior for some reason one of the worst things ever saw was uh me and uh my uh good friend paul shout out paul we were walking to class once and a fight broke out and it was the worst thing because one kid was clearly getting like his like he was getting wrecked like he was on the ground couldn't get up and, um, you know, but he, he had a lot of pride, so he wasn't, like, doing, like, he wasn't, like, you know, doing, like, the fetal position kind of thing. He was trying to get back up, but that just exposed his face. So he was just fucking destroyed. Really? His girlfriend was standing right there screaming, like, get up. You got to get up. You got to get up. Like, her, like, her pride and ego was, like, tied to how well yeah. he was doing <laughs> in this fight. And yes. me and my friend were so used to it. We just casually walked by and we were like, oh, shit. And then kept walking. Like, that was just, we were like. That, it was so common. Dude. Yeah. Day at school. Can't explain to you guys how common that is. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. 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 Not common so, in high school. Wow. Well, 
Yeah. Somebody yeah. hear that because like me and Chase were just like, oh yeah, this is, it just is what it is. Yeah, yeah, uh, bodying yeah. and fighting and yeah. all that shit. That's we just a normal yeah. thing. Those are the school fights. We'll get into the we'll get into the other ones later. Yeah, yeah, that, that's are. just other stories. Yeah, that's but. other stories. But anyways, uh, we're back. Given back in Los Angeles, new stuff is coming out soon. Maybe a video announcing it here uh, sooner rather than later. But uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for tuning in.